What's good guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing an updated what's on my phone video. I've done this a few months ago, but people kept asking me if I can do an updated one. Although most of my apps are still the same, I have played around with my layout, wallpaper, and I have downloaded a few new apps, so I thought I'd show you guys anyway what's changed. Before I get into all that though, I just wanted to say, yesterday marked one year since my first ever YouTube video. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support, the likes, the comments, the subscribes, everything. I appreciate and love you all. Um, also, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update because if you don't follow me on social media, this is actually a new phone. So basically I was using my phone and then it kept saying phone not available and no, it said phone not allowed. And then if I tried to make any calls, it would say phone not registered. So I spoke to my carrier, which is three, and they basically checked my IMEI number and they said that my phone had been blacklisted. So whoever owned my phone previously, cause I did buy my phone secondhand from CEX. So whoever first bought the phone or took the contract out, whatever, they basically called up and said that their phone got lost or stolen and it blocked my phone. So I couldn't use it anymore, um, only on Wi-Fi. So I had to take all my pictures off, I had to back up everything. I went the next day to CX where I originally bought the phone from and I exchanged it for this bad boy. So it's the same phone, it's the S8 Plus, 64 gig. It's just in midnight black instead of orchid gray because I didn't have orchid gray, but I actually really do like the black. Um, I like it more in fact than the gray. So yeah, that's that. Uh, when it happened, I was thinking is there any phone that I'd want instead? I could have exchanged it for like any other phone for the same price, but there wasn't really anything else I wanted. I have so many phone cases, I'm used to the phone, I'm happy with this phone, so yeah, I got the same phone. Also, I did get a glass screen protector, and I've used glass screen protectors in the past, but um, they'd always just peel off. So I went to the like, there's a little shop next to CX and they put it on for me and it's good. I, my screen is very responsive, it's fabulous. The only thing is I did crack it. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, I can't get it to focus, but basically I cracked it. The, like literally an hour after I got it, well, I came home and my laptop, I accidentally placed my laptop on it and the edge cracked, so. Apart from that, it's fabulous. I really like the glass because I like the noise it makes and the screen protector I had before, my nails would make marks in it because it was like a soft kind of material. Um, but that's the only ones that I managed to use. But now I know I can go and get the guy to put it on because it doesn't curve all the way around. It kind of stops on the edge. So yeah, I'm really happy with my screen protector right now. I'm really happy with the color of the phone. I'm so in love with this phone. And the case that I'm currently using is this one. It's my Marble Ideal of Sweden case. And I've got my Wonder Woman pop socket on. And I got this around Christmas time. And I've, yeah, I've just gone back to it. I really like it. So that is what my phone looks like. And I'll show you guys. My always on display, I didn't change it. I just left it as the original. It's not pink or anything. It's just the plain white. It's got the date underneath. Um, yeah, so I use my fingerprint or my face to unlock my phone. Uh, my lock screen is Wonder Woman. Looks like that. And let me begin this recording. Oh, I should move to the side because otherwise I'll forget. Okay, so this is my home screen. I'll just move, oh, move that thing in the corner. So this is my home screen. It's Wonder Woman as well. So I have the same exact lock screen and home screen. I really like it. Um, I'll start, I guess, on the left. So I still have my calendar widget, which is the most helpful thing ever. I feel really organized. I don't feel like I'm forgetting anything. It makes me feel less anxious knowing that it's there and it's the whole screen to make it easier for me to see everything. Um, so yeah, that's that. On the bottom, I have phone messages, 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 uh, Samsung Notes and Play Store. And I really, really love how the icons look with this icon pack. And I have, so on my main screen, I've moved uh, my, I've moved my apps to show her face. So I've done it kind of in like a U kind of shape. So on my left, I have Facebook, Twitter, Line. Then I have YouTube, Instagram, WhatsApp, Gallery, Snapchat, and Camera. Um, I'm used, now I'm used to where everything is now. Before I was nervous. I didn't really want to change anything because I was like, oh, my thumb's used to going there. But I really love this layout so much. I have my little Google home bar there. Um, instead of the internet, I just use Google. And I have my time and date widget at the top. And if you swipe down, uh, top right, I have my 
subscribe account widget and not widget it's just my subscribe account i've just thrown it in there i really love the widget but because of this wallpaper i just prefer having the subscribe account in the drop down bar um i will put my socials on screen if you want to follow me um my twitter my line and my instagram is all at wonder so let's go on twitter and see what everyone's talking about because twitter is just the best place who likes my tweet thank you wow that's disgusting okay all right so that's the main page um let me quickly go into settings and show you guys the icon pack before everyone asks me so it's not a theme it's just an icon pack because when i posted this on instagram a lot of people were like i can't find the theme it's not a theme it's just icons so everything else is the same so if you go into settings and then themes and wallpapers and then icons and then search i guess it's called black onyx and it's that one that i've applied top left and i really like that one i think it goes so well with the wallpaper yeah i'm just really happy with it i'm so proud of myself for finding something that i like oh also a lot of people in my last video were commenting saying that i should try nova launcher i actually did try nova launcher since then um i didn't really like it it was all right i mean i don't really get the hype i tried it and i uh, I liked how the home screen looked, but I felt like it took like an extra second to open apps. And I really like how you can customize the, um, what, should, what do I call it? The app icons um, to any image that you have. But yeah, it just, I prefer this one and I really like how it's laid out. So thank you for letting me know about Nova Launcher, but it's just not for me at the moment. So if you swipe, if you swipe right, uh, this is where all my other apps are, so apps that I still use a lot, just not on my main screen because I want to show Wonder Woman's face and I don't want too many folders on the main screen, I like it exactly how it is. Um, so at the far bottom, <laughs> at the bottom, I have my Bible widget, so it has verse of the day and every day at 9am I get a little notification just telling me the verse of the day and I really like it. So top left I have travel and inside that I have Uber, bus times train line, easy jet, city mapper, maps and TFL oyster. My oyster is actually old and it won't let me use that so I need to get a new oyster, it's just so long. Then I have spare room which if you don't know I'm an estate agent, I have my own estate agency called Grandier Estates. If you want to follow us I will leave our information below. Um, and that's the app where people will inquire about adverts we have or I can message other people just telling them what rooms we have available. And fitness, I have gym workout which I showed you guys in my last What's On My Phone video. I have Pure Gym, which is the gym I go to. I can see how many people are in the gym. I can book classes, which I never really do, but I have it there anyway. And Fitbit, for my Fitbit, I have the Fitbit Charge 2. And the app is really cool. Um, you could obviously just see, I didn't wear it last night, but you can see how many hours you slept. It's sinking currently. Let's wait for it to sink and see what's going on. There's a community here, which I think is lovely. Um, basically, people will post selfies, they'll post snacks, tips, motivation stuff. Um, it's just it's a nice little community to be a part of. I haven't posted on there in a while. So yeah, I've done 1,000 steps today, which is weak, but I don't feel well. My shoulder hurts and all my period, thanks so much. Um, I didn't wear it last night, night to sleep. Um, so yesterday I did 8,500 steps, which is dead. I like to do at least... I like to do at least 10,000 10, is my goal, so I try to do 10,000 steps a day. And then shopping, I have eBay, which is the plug. Amazon, which is, I never used to use Amazon, like a few years ago I used to only use eBay. Now obsessed because obviously Prime makes it so easy to love it. Um, I've got Depop, I've got Deliveroo at Uber Eats for food and Groupon, which I don't use Groupon too much. Um, if it's like someone's birthday or if I'm bored or if there's something I'm looking for in particular like a spa weekend I'll go on Groupon otherwise I don't really go on it too much and then in other I have followers chief which basically tells you who's unfollowed you on um, Instagram this isn't as good as the last one I had but because I got a new phone I lost that app and I can't find it again so I've got this sad one instead uh, you can make up you can edit your pictures um, I showed you guys how to do that in my what's my s7 edge video throwback and then layout is just a um, collage app. 
it's not that amazing but it's better than nothing superheroes wallpaper is a wallpaper app and they have really amazing quality ones they just look really good so we got doctor strange wolverine avengers i saw avengers like when it came out and it's Infinity War is the best Marvel film ever. If you haven't seen it, we can't be friends because oh, I cried like 10 million times. <laughs> I'm still not over it. I've got three, which is my carrier. Repost, if I want to repost someone's Instagram picture or video. Unfollow Twitter to see who's unfollowed me on Twitter. Um, I've got my clock, which has alarms on it. I've got, why does it say grammar? Oh, I have to pick her up. <laughs> I've got settings and in my extras, I have Nova Launcher, which is what I tried and I didn't really care about. I've got Pinterest, which I'm so obsessed with Pinterest now. Um, if you, oh, I don't want to. Okay, so this is my page. Um, I have clothes and jewelry, fitness, food, funnies, so anything that I find funny, um, like God related stuff, girl power, health diet stuff. Nails, other, which is just random crap that doesn't really fit into anything else that I have. Um, phones and cases, places, puppers and doggos, tattoos, wallpapers, and workouts. So, if you want to follow me on Pinterest, search me, Wonder Izzy. I'll leave that link below as well. Yeah, I really like Pinterest. And I've got daily horoscopes. So basically, I'm born on the 21st of June. Same birthday as Chris Pratt. And... My birthday is annoying because it's on the cusp, so I'm considered both a Gemini and a Cancer. On this particular app, it says I'm a Cancer, so I click on Cancer. Um, yeah, I read this already, I didn't really... A conflicted relationship in your life has simmered on and off for some time. I don't know who they're talking about, so we're just going to close that. Dropbox, that's when I sent, <laughs> when my phone got blocked. That's how I sent all my pictures over. IMDB, my cousin and I were watching Scooby-Doo and we watched Saw. <laughs> and we were just, he was just telling me about IMDB. So I downloaded it so I can go and rate some movies. Um, there's like trivia, there's facts. You can search people's, like people's opinions on things. It's a cool app. And then I've got DU Recorder, which is uh, what I'm using right now. Um, so for those asking me in my previous video what I use, I use DU Recorder because I have an Android, so that's what I find best. Um, Messenger, I've got Fun, so I've got Creepypasta, Buzzfeed, Fiverr, which you can basically, people will make stuff for you so you can get like a logo made or a comic book made or something like that. Bitmoji, I've got Xbox, I've got the Star Wars app, I've got Twitch, I've got DC Comics and you can basically buy or check out comics on that one and then dc or access is just everything literally it's got trivia it's got polls let's see what it says 80 years of superman superman is 80 years old it's got videos polls quizzes articles so yeah basically just has quizzes and everything um and that's that I've got my calculator because I'm shit at maths. In socials, I have day one and Vero. Vero? 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 Um, day one is basically... Oh, I don't know if I have to log in. Oh no, did I lose all my stuff from my last one? Yeah, I can't remember to log in. But basically, uh, it's like a diary app so you can like save pictures. Yeah, so you can add pictures and then look back on it. So it's like a diary. Um, Vero is... Oh, I'm not logged into that either, am I? Nope. It's another social media, but a lot of people didn't like it. I only follow one person, and that's Zack Snyder. So, that's that. In games, I have The Sims, Future Fight, which is my Marvel game, which I play all the time. Um, I have Duel Links, which is a Yu-Gi-Oh game. I have Pokemon Go, which no one really plays anymore, but that was a banging game. And Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, because Animal Crossing is the best. My Bible app, which as I said, you can the whole Bible is there, so you can find verses, you can highlight things, share things, and you've got the verse of the day there. And then in money, I have my Barclays app and PayPal. HQ, guys, today HQ is £8,000, so if you... It's a quiz game, it's an online quiz game, um, it's live, so basically at 3pm and 9pm usually, 
um, there's a game. There's 12 questions. You have to answer each question in 10 seconds. And if you win and get to the end, you win the money. Uh, I've never got that far. I've got to question, I lost on question eight. So the furthest that I've got is question eight. Um, if you don't have HQ, use my code at Wonder Izzy. Um, and yeah, may the odds be in your favor. I've never won, I'd love to win. Um, but as I said, I'm not very good at that game. <laughs> my fitness pal, which is where I log in all my calories. So I just put in, I haven't done it today, but I just put in whatever I've eaten. So you add your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and then it gives you your nutrition. So it will tell you like what percentage of protein you've had, how many carbs you've had, and how much you should have. And then Blue Mail and Outlook are my email apps. And then on YouTube, I have AdSense and YouTube Studio. I had another app called Famebit, um, but for some reason I can't find it in the Play Store, so I don't have it anymore. Um, and yeah, that's basically everything that I have on my phone. So that is everything that I have on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment, subscribe, anything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.